with Edgar and their baby makes three. Catherine's brother is the jerk, known as Hindley. Heathcliff is named after some dead child by Catherine's father, who rescues him before he becomes wild. Hindley goes away, but comes back when he inherits. He's a man of bad temper and very few merits. He marries a woman who has TV. They have a kid. His name is Harrington. His mom will never see. Hindley, now bitter, rules the house with a heavy hand, and Heathcliff is sent to work on the land. Catherine is groomed for a money marriage to Edgar's house, she goes, in the family carriage. There's something wrong with Catherine. She's paler than most. Walking around, she only looks like a ghost. Edgar's sister is the girl called Isabella. When it's time to fall in love, she's aware of one fella. Isabella may be pretty. She may even have a dimple. But her understanding of character is really quite simple. She elopes with Heathcliff after one night she regrets. But, as fate would have it, a child she begets. Linton is born near London town. His mom is sick, his health is bad, his dad is rarely around. When his mom dies, it's really sad. But he's a bit of a jerk, and now he lives with his dad. Not enough so far of Kathy, we said. She's the baby who's born the night Catherine gets dead. Her dad is Edgar, and he's still alive. She's a feisty girl, hell-bent to survive. When it's time to fall in love, two cousins are around. Harrington or Linton, her judgment is not sound. She marries Linton, it cannot be repealed. When Daddy Edgar dies, her fate is sealed. Now the daughter-in-law of Heathcliff, true, she's got the temper of Catherine, whom Heathcliff loved to do. The death of Linton widows her, and the estate from her dad to Heathcliff transfers, mistress of nothing. Young Kathy, hell-bent, is slow to pick up on where Harrington went. He's been waiting in the wings, his story barely started, but soon the two cannot be parted. When Heathcliff finally dies, young Kathy inherits. Harrington turns out to have a few good merits. It's the happy ending for which we've waited, the only love which the stars of the heat have fated. Emily Bronte delved into the deep at 28 years old to ask, what is love, and how does it live within the soul? Put on your dress and on your cape as we go on a journey to an ancient landscape. Your pants smell of horses, your jacket of soot. Where there is no road, you will go on it. by the sea, the brambles catch a skirt, wide vistas, little heat, and there below your feet are two rocks for every dirt. Unprotected and weather-worn, beyond the hill you'll hear a hunting horn. Hamlets and villages made of stone, an old house in ruins was once a home. Beautiful bleak hills blown by the sea, the brambles catch a skirt, why this does little In this place there is a destiny for two souls growing crooked as a twisted tree. The erotic life force propels the soul through love toward death. We turn our thoughts to the heathen sensual Catherine and Heathcliff.
The neighbors asked, but what did he bring? Where did he come from, the little brown thing? It was Heathcliff, age seven, rescued from the street, and his new family began to feel his heat. Catherine, age six, is where the story begins. She took to Heathcliff like an evil twin. With the innocence of youth before one ever knows, they rocked on the heath, chug full of primrose. Two children grow tangled in their sensuality, an older brother mangled by his jealousy. A kind father dies on a forlorn night to leave these three undone looking for a fight. The weather broke, sleet and snow. The larks were silent, wind blowing cold. This is what happens to people who are not whole. They find something outside to complete themselves. Light or shadow, without mother, without friend. Two broken hearts began to mend. Extended adagio. They take center stage as they slowly become one. Light and shadow. Some bird you teach to sing. I 
I look for my next victim, someone to share my pain. I'm just a man, darling, and you put me to the test. How to take this heavy weight off my chest. I could keep on walking till I've walked around the world. But the truth keeps walking beside me, says you're my only girl. I'm so hungry, stay up the hell at night. So hungry for your love and the dream I hold you tight. Don't, don't, don't run away.
I took on the work of Lucifer. I delight in the hatred that I incur. I hate and love. Why do I do? Do you mind ask? You see. I don't know, but I feel it happening to me. Without her, I took on the work of Lucifer. Her daughter, my son, I keep them prisoner. I hate and love, why do I do it, you might ask, you see. I don't know, but I feel it happening to me. I feel it happening. I'm obsessed with her. I feel it happening. I see the coward and hide. I feel it happening. I got a bad temper. I feel it happening. There's a monster inside. I feel it happening. There's a monster inside. My anger only grows. It devours me. It's never sated. Let them feel what it's like to tormented and berated. Some people cannot be rehabilitated. There's a monster inside, the monster she created. You think that my temper gets the best, but you never met Catherine, the tempter. And the tempest. Could it be, when they were born, one soul in two was exactly torn and placed in bodies, his and hers? Now one is dead, but the other half stirs. Or is this what purest love resembles? Not face, or form, or flowing tendrils, but sadness, mere madness in the night, when the ghost and the living seek to unite. Come. Come, ghost Catherine, tell us crime did you abet? What destiny was thwarted? How weighs on you such debt? Again, I feel that chill, the hour of my torment. But once again, I can hear her weep, her wild and passionate midnight argument. She tried in this Possessed by my desire, unfinished business with the dead. I impale her soul, but it's me that she devours. Every breath I take only keeps us apart. I'm sure to slowly die from my broken heart. Another electric hour. I'm standing in the cold. My tears will damn you. Eyes full of black fire. Whatever souls are made of, yours and mine are the same. The blackness in them knows how to betray. My own tears have damned me. I'm only a slave to the love I kept hidden to 
until I went to my grave. In heaven, you're miserable. No master could you serve. Are you in heaven or is it hell? Break your heart with weeping. That's what you deserve. Every breath I take only keeps us apart. I'm sure to slowly die from my broken heart. Turn me once, turn me twice, turn me in your grave, won't it be nice? They call me half civilized, when they put me in your grave, won't it be survivors of his reign of terror could begin their lives anew, pulling happiness like a root from the ground. And the holy ground where she was buried was secretly made unholy. His living accomplice opened the grave of Catherine the beloved, and laid Heathcliff's tormented body, meat, gristle, and bones beside her, the longing finally consummated. Death is so terrifying, so unfathomable. that to realize you were not dead is a thrill. So, welcome to the living. Grab your horse and ride through time. Gallop past Prince Albert and Queen Victoria. Take a train, a car, a plane. Safe landing in the present. In that place, the wind still blows and the air is chill. The graveyard still sits on the lonely hill. In quiet earth, unquietly, two souls became the shape of one lonely tree. 